This is going to be a real quick recap of Workspace. Workspace is um, what's your overall look and the number of menus that you have open in AutoCAD and uh, the ability to save that workspace. So initially I think it's a good idea for us all to have the same look. Um, I would dock this menu bar, the uh, command line. I'm sorry, yeah, dock the command line um, to the lower. If you see it disappear like this, that's it actually being docked. Um, and I was about to talk about the, the menu bar. Um, if I see that it's zero, it means it's off. In the digital world, one means on. And now, before I didn't have this. With menu bar one, I get the file edit, um, insert, like you see in Microsoft Word or Excel. Then let's turn on some um, of the menus that we'll use the most often. Click on view in the ribbon, that's what, uh, uh, Microsoft and a lot of apps um, call this new section down here. It's changes as you click on each one of these. And instead of being a drop down menu like a traditional menu system and going down vertically, the ribbon actually changes the horizontal menu menuing system. And in that in that ribbon, let's go to view and all the way over here to toolbars and down to AutoCAD. And let's turn on uh, four different menuing systems dimension and draw and modify and then and then lastly let's turn on object snap we'll talk about each one of these um, notice that sometimes these will when they appear they're floating in front of the drawing space right now but sometimes they'll actually appear they'll appear over a menu and it's hard to really even tell that they're there and you'll think, I just turned it on, but it didn't show up. Well, it's over your menuing system, typically. All right, and then each one of these, you're going to put in order over onto the left. All right, those are the menuing systems. And then down here on, um, you'll notice these are just some quick keys that um, um, we'll use quite a bit. In order for you to get more familiar with them, especially dynamic input, I think it might be a good idea to actually turn the use icons off and so that the words show up. Lastly, we'll go up to Workspace and save all your Workspace settings, save current as, and then name it, and then save. You notice I've already done that. I've got a RJ, work, uh, RJ sample Workspace. I open that up, and it's very similar to what we have, but I only have two palettes open on the side over here. All right, that's it for Workspaces.